Welcome dear students, today I am going to talk about a very important topic which is called the history taking. So in the previous video I have already talked about the guideline for the history taking. So um, before watching this video you have to watch the guideline for the history taking. So the history taking is very important and I have already talked about that uh, before diagnosis the patient there are three things required for correct diagnosis. One is the history taking, the other is uh, exam, physical examination and the other is investigation. Before physical examination and investigation you have to take the history and the history will guide you uh, will guide you which area of the body should to be examined and which investigation should be done. So history taking is very important and you have to watch the full video. So there are many steps in history taking and uh, I am going to uh, simply discuss the history taking. So the first thing in the history taking, you have to approach from the right side and to the patient, uh, greeting him and introduce yourself, then start taking history. So the first thing in the history uh, in history taking is biodata. In biodata, you have to ask about the patient name, his age, sex, address, occupation, date of admission, mode of admission, and address of the patient. In each of the steps in the history taking has uh, its own clinical importance which I will discuss in another video. The second uh, step in the history taking is presenting illness. The presenting illness are those symptoms which made the patient to come to the doctor. So the uh, presenting illness should be in chronological order. Chronological me uh, order means the, uh, the symptom which start first. Uh, should be written first and the same term start late should be written late. For example, if a person present to the OPD or to the emergency with a chest pain uh, from the last 12 days and uh, with the uh, with cup from the last five days and with the uh, sputum in the cup from the last two days, then you have to write first the chest pain in front of it you should to write the duration of the chest pain for example 12 days then the cup from last five days and then the uh, sputum with cup from the last two days so the the presenting illness should be in chronological order and the third step in the history taking is history of presenting illness the history of presenting illness is actually the elaboration of the presenting illness one by one so there is a mnemonic for example if a, pa if a patient is presenting uh, uh, presenting to the OPD or to the emergency with a chest pain then you have to ask about uh, the some question in the chest pain for example there is a mnemonic S O S F DERA the what is the site of the chest uh, what is the site of the pain uh, what is the onset of the pain and what is the severity of the pain, whether the pain is mild, severe or moderate and what is the frequency of the pain and what is the duration of the pain and what is, uh, is there any exacerbating factor and is there any relieving factor E for exacerbating factor, R for relieving factor and A for associated symptom, is there in, uh, any associated symptom along with chest pain. So this is the elaboration of the presenting illness and the third thing in the uh, history the fourth step in the history is systemic inquiry uh, for example uh, if a person is presented to OPD or emergency with chest pain then a chest pain can be occur as a result of chest infection or it can occur as a result of CVS disorder so in systemic inquiry you have to ask about general for example uh, his or her sleep pattern uh, his weight or get, uh, his weight loss or weight gain his uh, energy etc and you have to ask about the the cns uh, then the ask about uh, some question in cns for example uh, do you feel any numbness pain weakness uh, visual loss etc etc then ask about a uh, question in respiratory system like uh, do you do you feel uh, any chest pain, uh, cough, sputum, uh, uh, wheezing? And then ask question in uh, cardiovascular system like, uh, uh, do you feel any, uh, do you feel any pain in the chest? Uh, do you feel any pain in the chest? Breathlessness, uh, breathlessness, uh, edema of the feet, etc. And then GAT like uh, ask about their. Uh, 
and ask about question like uh, do you have uh, nausea vomiting diarrhea constipation jaundice etc melina hematemesis uh, etc then ask question in urinary tract like uh, do you have any polyuria oligouria dysuria uh, hematuria burning during urination etc and then scan ask about question and scan like uh, ask about question and scan like do you have any rash on the skin any spot on the skin etc and then ask about question in locomotor system do you feel any uh, pain in the uh, in the joint swelling in the joint uh, decree uh, restricted moment in the joint etc and then ask question in endocrine system like uh, uh like uh, do you uh, do you feel a, a extreme hotness or coldness polypegia polydipsia poly uh, urea etc then the fifth step in the history taking is the past history in past history if uh, if for the patient is child then you have to ask about the nature of the delivery that uh, whether the a uh, child is born uh, at home or in hospital whether it is assisted spontaneous or in a born through cesarean section and then congenital anomalies communicable diseases in children like measles smallpox etc and vaccination of the vaccination and any significant illness he has been mentioned to hospital uh, 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 on account of which uh, uh, disease the patient has ca came and uh, admitted to the hospital uh, whether he has came and admitted to the hospital uh, due to accident operation or any chronic illness like hypertension diabetes mellitus ischemic heart disease arthritis and then ask about their residence or travel history because some diseases are some diseases or infection are um, associated with travel like dengue fever and uh, uh, aids so if uh, the patient is uh, female then ask about menstrual menstrual history menstrual history and menstrual history you have to ask about uh, menarche the age of menarche duration of period and amount of bleed amount of bleeding because some in some disorder there is increased bleeding like uterine fibroids and the regularity of the cycle any pain associated with uh, any pain associated with uh, menstruation any menstrual or postcoital pain and uh, menopause the age of menopause in the seventh step in the history taking is treatment history uh, mostly the patient uh, don't remember the names of the drug but uh, may be guided by the prescription paper that is present with the uh, uh, that, it, that is present with the patient like uh, uh, their dosage form the names of the drug and the uh, duration of the use of the um, drugs in the eighth step in the history taking is family history in family history you have to uh, you have to ask about the uh, any disease history in parents sibling children uh, if you suspect the disease inherited then ask about their uncle and aunt's uh, history so the ninth step in the history taking is the personal and social history uh, in personal history and social history you have to ask about the patient economic status because if a person is poor he will not be able to afford the uh, fee for the um, fee for the investigation and treatment so you will have to uh, you will have to write the cheap uh, the cheap investigation and cheap treatment in any habit for example he is uh, he is doing smoking or addiction to uh, alcohol or any sleep disturbances and if uh, the disease is same to you due to malnutrition then also take the dietary uh, history of the patient then the 10th step in the history taking is occupational history and some diseases are, are related to the occupation for example the respiratory diseases like the pneumoconiosis the the sarcoidosis and asbestos are related to the occupation so uh, ask about the exact nature of present job and the uh, exact nature of previous job and uh, ask about their any chemical exposure so this was all about the Mm, history taking so thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe